My understanding is the Trump campaign reached out to some folks in Kerrville, Texas, and they were like, all right, guys, this, this man right here is running for president. He's actually threatening us in, in certain areas, and we need some attack ads going, so I, I would really like for you to talk about him and tell us what you think. And uh, what I'll tell you is, uh, if, if you've seen an ad or something like that, and, and you don't know who you're listening to, uh, and, and specifically they're from Kerrville, um, they are religious nuts. Like, I, I, I don't know how to explain how, how nuts some of the, okay, actually I do. Okay, let's just say there's this family called the W family, uh, after George W. Bush. And uh, they have children, all named after the seven deadly sins, the opposite, you know, so there, there's, there's lust, avarice, there's greed, and there's pride. All right, but the opposite of that. So it's like joy and patience. All right, so um, basically all the children are named after this. All right, so, um, I actually became friends, friends with him at church. I, I, I started going to this church because this, this guy uh, I, I was friends with in school, he was a Mexican guy, he invited me and I, I, I liked him, so I was like, all right. And I had, a lot of I had a lot of friends at the church and that's why I loved it. It was the best. Everyone that I was friends with was like so much fun because they, they, were, they were so about Jesus and we all liked each other. Um, but the thing is, uh, some of these folks out there, uh, I can think of the, the W family specifically, one time I go over to their house they live in the Kerrville area, and um, their their daughters aren't allowed to drive. They're homeschooled, and I was only I was the first boy they ever drove with, which makes them makes it seem like we're trying to set them up to for everyone to think they're sus they're suspected drug traffickers, which we did do that. That was a prank. You have officially been pranked by the Merry Pranksters. There's a reason your husband is a UPS driver because. We wanted to make sure everyone thought you were a drug dealer. All right, so the thing is, I, I don't think some of these people understand that when you're that stupid, everyone thinks there's no way you're that stupid unless you're a drug dealer. All right, it's so hard to explain. All right, so basically what happened is, um, okay, I, I go over to these people's house, and the, the father's outside. He's got a shotgun. He's waiting for me. He knows I'm coming over, and uh, I always really like this guy. He, he, he's, he's Mr. W. Uh, and he was joking around, but he was trying to make sure I know, he knows. He, he was very protective of his daughters. But the thing is, at, at that, like, I, I had almost already reached the point where there was no way I was going to try to date um, either one of his daughters it, it, because one of them was dating my was like had this thing with my friend where they really got along really well, and the other one, she was like Tim Tebow, but like the retarded version, like extra retarded version of Tim Tebow, like. I just want to do God's will with everything I do. That's all I ever want to talk about. I just really want to get married, and that's pretty much all I ever want to do ever is get married. So I'm basically like my entire life is about getting married. So someday I'm going to marry a UPS driver. I ain't, I ain't talking shit about UPS drivers, um, but I'm just saying like you work 30 years, and and like if you're dumb as a rock, you're, you're gonna, that's what you earn is a delivery driver. And there's nothing wrong with being a, being a salt of the earth type worker, but still. All right, so I go over to this house. He's got a shotgun. We're, we think it's funny. We're having a blast. Um, they want to watch a movie. I'm like, all right. They want to watch T.D. Jakes. Maybe it's not T.D. Jakes. They love T.D. Jakes. He's their favorite. He was on um, on Del Way's video if you didn't see him over there. And, but no, they wanted to watch this other sermon. They, they said, he's got a snake on stage. They wanted to watch a sermon on a Friday freaking night. And I'm like, there's no way in hell I want to watch a sermon. Uh, so I was like, let's watch a movie. I want to watch a PG movie. They, I can't even get them to watch a PG-13 movie. I try to get them to watch a PG movie. They won't watch it. They would only watch a G freaking movie. So we had to watch like some like bingo type shit. All right, so at the end of the night, oh, so, okay, so we, we go to eat, and um, these girls don't eat much. I, I'm guessing the mother, very dominant woman, <laughs> she's, a, she's the definition of religious psychopath. Not psychopath, but pretty much. Um, and so the mother, we're praying, or the father's praying, you know, obviously, and she's praying. She's like, she's basically having a speaking in tongues orgasm over breakfast. This was actually the next morning that we were praying, now that I think about it. That's why I was so so surprised. I was like, I understand having an orgasm while you're praying during during dinner, but in the morning? How in the hell do you wake up like that? But, okay, so the night before, uh, so I stayed the night at their house. Um, and when I stayed over there, I'm, I'm sitting on the front porch with these two girls, beautiful girls. I'm talking about, like, banging hot. Like, Southern Belle 
as hell as get. One was rubbing my feet, one was rubbing my back. I'm like, damn, I can go marry these women. And then I was like, there's no way in hell I'm marrying that one. <laughs> there's no way. But, okay, so the father locked me up in my room when I went to bed. Seriously, after we watched our sermon, which I don't think we watched, our, I didn't want to watch the sermon. I wanted to watch a movie. But then I couldn't get them. But, so we went to the movie store. This was back when people went to the movie stores. You know, when you went to rent movies. And uh, we didn't have Blockbuster in Kerrville. We had some other store. And, uh, and, and they rented a G movie. And I wanted a PG movie because I wanted to watch something funny. At least we can find something funny for PG. But you can't watch a PG movie. You can only watch a fucking G movie. There's no way in fucking hell I'm marrying your ass. All right, so anyways, these Kerrville people. The smart ones are the ones that um, probably don't vaccinate their children because they're they, they, they don't believe in the science trust me they're really smart but if you tell them that jesus name was yehoshua they won't like that because i think his name was actually yeshua and I, I the thing is that a jewish person told me that his name was yehoshua and it's kind of weird how yeshua sounds like it's short for yehoshua but i don't really know all i know is that jesus is not someone that actually wants to get worshipped it's really hard to explain how jesus is like chill as fuck. You know why? Because I worshiped Jesus once. I went to Jesus. <laughs> Jesus? I, that's not what his name was. I was like, just so you know, Jesus, you're my favorite artist. That's what happened. I, snuck, I walked up to him. He was sitting outside. He was smoking a cigarette. And I was like, oh shit, Jesus. Don't show what... Um, don't show that person your that you smoke a cigarette, no, she would have had her. She would have had her. You see, I met him at Baylor. And this woman, the mother, when I told her I was going to Baylor because I got accepted, I was excited. And she, I remember I was driving in their car. It was an SUV, of course, you know, because they're Christians. And uh, what she told me is the devil's at Baylor. And what was really funny is the devil was in her car. And uh, the devil was about to go to Baylor to go hang out with Jesus, who he has been friends with his entire life, and whom... John Alexander apparently has a song about Jesus, don't I? It's your love that carries me. I got a song about Jesus. I wrote a song about one man, and it's Jesus. I only have one song about Jesus. Um, and I, I don't even know if I can play it anymore because my voice probably doesn't work for it because I'm, I'm older now. But I do have a song about Jesus, and Jesus has one song about me. So, bitches. Not, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm just talking about, like, bitches in general. Uh, all right, so, uh, all right, so, when you're listening to one of these people and you're going, wow, she sounds like she has it all together, you have to understand, this is a homeschool person that got homeschooled by a retarded person. It's very important to understand that. Like it's really, I don't, I don't think most people, I don't know how to explain it in any other way. Like I know that, it, and, and why am I friends with them if they're not drug dealers? What I'm telling you is either number one, for a long time I thought they were feds, um, but I don't think they are. I think they're retarded people, but not all of them, but I think that they kind of are because this one woman, I don't know, maybe she had like some sort of trauma with her ex-husband or something, but like after that, all her, like every single child had like, was no longer, uh, they, 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 she made sure they were fruits of the spirit, that's for sure. Um, and she was nuts, man. You want to talk about a religious nut. She would, my whole Pastor Dale, Pastor Dale say, you don't, you don't understand. The reason I say that these people are retarded at this church because like, I, I, I've been there. Well, well Pastor Dale say I got to give more than 10% because then I won't get a blessing because 10% is required by God, but everything over 10% is more. So I have to give 20% if I actually want to get blessed. That's the only way to heal my mother. All right, so here's the thing about people that believe that Pastor Dale say anything but bullshit. Um, they're stupid, and that's the thing about, like, everyone I've pretty much ever known that was a Christian, I think you should know that um, if you're not one of us um, and we really made people think you're a drug trafficker, um, it's because we hate you. Like, it's really hard to explain, like, how much we actually hate, like, bad Christians. Like, like... What is the definition of who Jesus actually despises? Like, Jesus doesn't despise the prostitute. He thinks maybe she should have a safe environment so she doesn't have to worry about getting hurt when she goes to work. And he thinks maybe she should actually have an opportunity for real love. Um, he doesn't hate her. Um, you know who he hates? Sean Hannity. And probably my friend's mother-in-law.